related to CAR T cell therapy or bispecific antibodies, how important are specific mutations when deciding on these therapies? Will they work equally well for a high-risk patient with a 17P deletion, like a low-risk patient? Or is the level of BCMA, GPRC5D, and all these other targets expression, is that more important uh, in the patient, uh, in the decision to treat the patient? Well, really detailed and deep question here, Dana. And the short answer is, we know that these more modern therapies, bispecific antibodies, CAR T cell therapies, are even more effective than our historical therapies in all patients, both standard risk and high risk. In fact, we, we now even have more evidence that in so-called extra medullary disease or when myeloma lives outside of the bone marrow, that CAR T cell therapy is particularly effective at controlling it. So in some ways, we still, of course, have high-risk myeloma that is a little less responsive to therapy and more li likely to relapse quickly, but we're bridging that gap as we use these new immunotherapies. So we won't typically say, oh, you have this deletion, therefore you won't get this treatment. More often than not, we look for what is the best treatment possible and provide it, be it to the high-risk or the standard-risk patient.